This is a step-by-step -step tutorial of how to replace your hardwired smoke alarm. The first thing you'll need is your smoke alarm right here and your mounting base, a Phillips screwdriver, wiring harness that should have came with your alarm, or you can use a smoke alarm adapter. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is you want to get your AC power out of this alarm. So what you want to do is turn off your power and the light should turn off. See? It's off now. I also recommend when you open this up, twisting it off, take up the battery. When you're twisting this off, I also recommend to use a, um, a wire tester and you stick it in there and if it like starts beeping, that means there's still power. When it's not beeping, it's off. And that means you can mess around with all these wires. So you want to disconnect your wire. Then you want to unscrew the back plate. So just turn it counterclockwise. There you go. Mounting base is off. And then you want to untwist the wires from each of the corresponding wires. So you want to unscrew. I'll do the black first. You just follow along with me. And then just unthread these wires together. Just take them off. Take your new harness right here and you connect the black to there. Make sure it's nice and tight. Then just do the same with the rest. I'll do it with the white next. Screw it. Then again on thread so you can take it off. Take your new harness and connect it to the white side. So it's black to black, white to white obviously. And then it's red to red or red to yellow, red to, you know. It's um with modern smoke alarms, it's usually red to red as the interconnect wire. So this green wire here, this is just because it's a 142 wire. But green is green is played off as red, guys, so And then again, just like all the other ones, just unthread the wire. And then again, take your new harness and connect it to the red part of the, connect red to red. In my case, it's red to green. That's really red to red. And then, got all your wires connected. Next thing you want to do is take your mounting base and um, push all these, stick the wiring harness through the middle you see. See this? middle hole, stick the wiring harness through it, and then twist it in place, see it will rest there, and then you can hold the mounting base and then start tightening. Should be good, it's nice and firm. Next thing you want to do is take your alarm and you see these three pins in the back? You want to connect, you want to line the pins like this and then connect it and it snaps in place. So when you have the alarm connected you want to push all these wires in and then connect it to the mounting base and give it a twist and it should lock in place. And then next, close the battery door test button and then connect your AC power back and the green light should turn on option two using an adapter so this way is much easier and much safer to do rather than changing all taking all these wires and disconnecting them all from the wire nuts and then changing it with the new wiring harness that your alarm came with it's much easier and it's rather safer so you don't have to risk getting electrocuted. 
what you can do is just take the mounting base off. The mounting base is off. And then what you can do is just take your new mounting base and then just slide it in. And then make sure it's nice and firm. And then what you can do with this is, is with this wiring harness, you can just connect it. You just have to align the pins, whichever way it goes. And then you connect it and see it's it's nice and tight and it won't come out. And then what you could do is you could just take your new arm and then just align the pins. There you go. And then you just push everything in. And then give it a twist. Put the battery in. Push test button. And then turn on your AC power and everything should be going. And then obviously your last step is to test. So we'll go ahead and demonstrate that. And there you go. Carbon monoxide. And there you go. So that was how to replace your hardwired smoke alarm. If you found this video helpful, go give it a like. And don't forget to see the manual.